Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sunrider Academy. <sighs> when do you get this intelligence up? And maybe the fitness? I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. If I'm doing something wrong or if I'm just getting unlucky. I'll have to figure that out. But let's hope it's time for school. Okay, off to a great start. I'll take it. I'll take it. How much time? Where should I eat? Let's try the courtyard again. Mm. You know what? I've run into Sola a lot in the courtyard. Let's see if anything's happening. Oh, yep. Yeah, has to be. So I guess I just keep going to the courtyard. But I want to try Chigato. Maybe I should try. Uh, I'll try classroom tomorrow. Wait. No. Okay. No. We have tomorrow's the school day. That's right. How's it going? I took a seat next to Sola. Hope you had a good break. I wonder why we had the day off. Day off on. Wait. I wonder why we have the day off on during the winter fest. This sentence throws me off so bad. It must have been a vestige of our time under the Rubian Empire, which nobody even ever bothered to change. During the ancient era, control of the technology was given to those chosen by the Emperor. Those who were not chosen lived in ignorance for the rest of the galaxy. Every year the poor would gather in shrines to pray to the Emperor for the end of the winter. And the spokesmen of the Emperor would deliver the speech from the coldness of winter into a bountiful harvest. Sounds pretty crazy. I can't believe the entire galaxy lived like that in the past. When men became gods, they seek worshippers. Instead of using their technology to improve the lives of the masses, the Rubian lords feared losing their position and hoarded such power for themselves. Such a nation was destined to collapse. Sol seemed way too jaded. Huh. That's not the kind of stuff you'd expect to hear from a shrine maiden. Mm. <laughs> Cl classic Sola. But perhaps by studying the mistakes of the past, we may learn a better path. Despite her eccentricity, you guys know what that word is. I'm have I always have trouble pronouncing that one because it's just. Yeah. She seemed to have the right idea. I noticed that Sola had been eyeing my meatballs for quite a while. She's. We got her. Did we get her back into a. her more herbivore type diet? Here you go. I lifted her a meatball and placed it in her box. Sola stabbed it with a chopstick. The meatball disappeared down her mouth. <laughs> looks, like she, looks like she's back to a herbivore now. The faintest trace of a smile also appeared on her face. Feeling like I've accomplished a rare feat, I wanted to feed her more. I gave her a piece of my apple tart. Sola's eyes lit up as the tart hit her mouth. Oh my god, that's adorable. It's pretty good, huh? What is this delicacy? It's just an apple tart, Sola. You can buy a pack of 12 for just a cred at the store. I see. So such inexpensive pleasures exist in this world. I had no idea what she was talking about. <laughs> she really- it's like she's living under a rock, basically. Man. She's got her charms all right, though. I mean, look at that. She's got a slightly blushing face. It's cute. This apple tart. I wish more of it. Uh, sorry. That's the only one I had. So his face fell. Oh, <laughs> she's so sad. Ah, uh, no. How about I, I take you to the sweet shop after school sometime? A sweet shop? I just totally blurted out that. I blurted that out on a whim. Uh, um, this totally feels like I was asking her out. I just saw Sola's disappointed face, and that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. Good going, myself. Just then, the ghost of my totally not dead little sister appeared. I tell, isn't this a good chance to work on that little promise she made? Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Murray, go. Go away. No. You remember, you have until the end of the year. Go away. <laughs> Irk. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? She might like it. Besides, she seemed like she wanted one of those. Let's give her one. Ghost Murray was right. This wasn't the time to second-guess myself. Sometimes you have to show a little initiative. It's a place where they sell a lot of apple tarts and other sweet foods. She's so happy again. Very well, then take me to the sweet shop. Sure thing. Give me after school after club hours are over. After club hour is over. I made a note on the meeting of the meeting on my hollow so I wouldn't forget. Alright, a chance to hang out with a girl from school after class. I couldn't help but get excited. I guess we succeeded there then, huh? Yeah, not bad. Alright, I need to try for a recruit again. 
Oh, I can't see my mouse. That happens so often. Like, I've noticed, like, when I try to enter my mouse into the screen, sometimes it goes underneath, which is throwing me off because I can't see the cursor. All right, let's try for a recruit again. Darn it. Man, we're not lucky with that. Maybe I need to get my charisma up. That might help. That's probably what I need to do is get charisma up. I saw Solo waiting for me under the tree where, where she always ate lunch. Yo, did you wait long? Sola shook her head. Let's go. We walked to the sweet shop. Sola looked through the glass display case. Ah. She spotted the apple tart and pointed it at, at it. That one, huh? All of a sudden, I heard a familiar voice. Mr. Manager? Oh, you work here, Jakarta? Yes, a little bit of, of part-time work. Come to think of it, I sh should have expected Chikata to be working here. Practicing for the day when you open your own shop, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. These characters are gonna get hard to choose or in between. I... 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 See, I'm not sure if this game's gonna go like Katawa Sojo, where if you pick a specific dialogue option, it locks you into a route. If you guys know what that one is, that was M.E. by Zaki. Or if it's gonna be, you have to make a series of decisions that'll lead you there. I'm also worried about the common ending that I hear about. I don't exactly know which way I'm supposed to go with this. But I feel like... If I have to make that choice, it's gonna be hard. If the game does it for me, then it just makes my life easier. Honestly, right now it feels like I might be on a solo route. <laughs> Considering I'm already taking her somewhere in the first month. <laughs> She kind of noticed that I was here with Sola. Oh. Ahem, what can I help you with? One apple tart and a box of cream puffs, please. Certainly. I handed you guard on my credit chip. Oh, please don't worry about it this time. Consider a service for her first time customer. Are you sure? Of course. Thank you for your order, will that be all? Yeah, thanks, Chikara. If I could get anything for free for the first time being there, I would be happy. I'd come back. That's a great idea. I wish more people did that, actually. <laughs> thank you, uh, and thank you for shopping at the Stardust Bakery. Please come again next time. See you. Bye bye. We sat down at a bench near the, at the uh, on a bench at the park. I opened the box and gave Sola her apple tart. <laughs> She's so happy to get it again. Sola took a bite out of the tart. You really like that, huh? Sola nodded. It must be hard living on a shrine. How long have you lived there? My assumption is all of her life. Many years, for as long as I can remember. Really? Did you come out, did you come from a missionary family? Not really. Then why did you grow up on a shrine? For as long as I can remember, the head priest and his wife have been like parents to me. I have no recollection of a time before the shrine. What? Really? So, then you don't know anything about your real parents? Sola shook her head. I was but a child when the head priest took me in. Whatever my childhood. It is, a long, it is too long ago for me to remember now. I heard that in some class seven worlds. Mothers abandon their newborns at shrines because they can't support another child. But something like that happening on Sarah didn't seem possible. We were a civilized world where everyone had access to healthcare and education, regardless of social class. Why would anyone abandon a newborn here? It must have been hard. No. While my current lifestyle cannot be called luxurious, the shrine is not about such a bad place. Its quiet halls provide me with peace and solitude. Its tranquility is a welcoming break from the hustle and bustle of the city. It is a place I call home. I cannot ever imagine leaving it. In the end, I guess Solo was right. While I wasn't, well, it wasn't what I expected. A home could be anywhere. It didn't matter whether it was a regular house, a boat, a ship, or a shrine. As long as you cherished it and found comfort within its walls, a home could be anywhere. I see. But if you ever got tired of eating the same vegetarian meals, just tell me, all right? There's a lot of other foods out there besides from rice and pickled vegetables, you know. I think she's happy about that comment. Understood. I think we kind of broke her deadpan a little bit there. I like it. That's the thing I like about the characters, that it's kind of hard to read their emotions when you get that sense of break, emotional break, where that you actually start to see a smile in them a little bit. It's where it feels like it's the most rewarding. 
That's kind of the reason why I like deadpan characters, especially when they break. Like, when their emotion actually shows. Because, man, does it feel like a small treasure. <laughs> I noticed that the sun was almost gone. We better get going. The transit for the shrine will be leaving soon. Hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I thank you for your time. Then, farewell. I returned home from hanging out with Sola. I saw a pair of curious looking ribbons lurking behind the door frame. Yo, I brought some ice cream puffs for you. Or, or, not ice cream. I read, I saw cream and I thought ice cream. Yo, I brought some cream puffs for you. What is that face? <laughs> She's like, and what have you been doing for the last hour? <laughs> What'd you do for the last hundred minutes? She eyed me suspiciously. She crept to my table and unboxed a cream puff while still eyeing me suspiciously. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a suspicious looking face, if I had to say so. So, how'd it go? How'd what go? Your date, of course. Uh, just, how did, how did she know that? Did, did you gotta tell her? Just how did Marie know everything? Did she commune with all the birds around town or something? Well, uh, you could call it, you could say it was a success. You better hold your breath, because pretty soon it looks like you're gonna, going you're going to be the only single person in this house. Booyah. Completely unfounded confidence. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I get to not be disappointed for an evening. Oh. <laughs> but I better keep up the offensive. If I, show, if I showed even a sliver of weakness, Murray wouldn't hesitate to nail me. Just look at that face. Is this the face of mercy to you? Maybe she'll change the subject if I keep bluffing. If I just kept bluffing. Eh, she'll catch it eventually. Eh? Ray looked halfway impressed as she ate the cream puff. So when are you going to bring this girl home to introduce to mom and dad? Well, it's, it's best to take it slow. Girls don't like it when you skip too many steps. I guess that's true. Listen, Kaito, dating girls in real life isn't like one of those dating sims you play in the hollow. You have to be patient, and be careful not to overthink the situation. Like you needed to tell me that. I know already. Just trying to give you your sisterly advice. You're still way too young to act like my older sister. Well, if you get it, time for Doki Lovers. What? What? Oh, that must be one of her... The fact that that, ha that that had the half of the- <laughs> that had Doki in it already bothers me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now the Doki Doki theme song's playing in my head. Great. <laughs> Ray plopped down on the floor and opened up her BL game on the hollow. Typical. She always complained that I play too many girl games. Her mind was obviously polluted with, from playing games with unrealistically idol- idealized love stories. No doubt the endless fictitious romances which the gaming industry saturated the market with has corrupted the young and impressionable mind of my little sister. And now whenever something coincidentally hits someone else in the hallway, my little sister sees the beginning of true love when there was only an accident. Another victim to the anime industry, huh? I salute you, little my little sister, but you entered this world too young. <laughs> It's like she's doomed. <laughs> well, you're thinking bad things about me again, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, no. Enjoy your game. <laughs> Let's talk Kaito. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get to talk to her? Oh, okay. Uh. I, bet I feel like I should not never do this. I'm just gonna do silly stuff. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? I don't know. Where did I hear what? I think I just accidentally hovered over something I shouldn't have. Whoops. Someone might have seen that. People might have seen the bare bones of Nepgao there. Oh god. What a busy day. Oh, this line again. Whew, long day. Man. At least we got our intelligence up. Minus one signs readiness. Uh, minus one intelligence. Like, <laughs> killing me game. <laughs> it's morning. Time for school. Hey, there we go. Okay, maybe it was just lucky. Unlucky. Where should I eat? I really want to go elsewhere, but the fact that I've run into Sola two times in the courtyard, and I'm actually liking the dialogue with her, I want to see if I can keep going there. 
Oh, we're done, I guess. Wait, or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <sighs> okay, I think we need to really try to get more characters, or characters, more people at the pool. The readiness and morale isn't bad, but we need to recruit more. Come on. Ah. Darn it. Darn it. It's not seeming to work out for us. I might as well get this this homework done. I know I'm gonna be at high stress, but I might as well get it out of the way so we're done. Hey Kaito. Oh, I'm gonna talk about classwork. Screw. Do you hear that? <laughs> well, that worked out well. What a busy day. I fell to bed and quickly went to sleep. Our game is still in the background. Minus three stress. Man, we got a lot of stress. Yeesh. Well, okay, only stress. Not bad. It's morning. Time for school. I gotta get the stress down again. I'm at nine. I have a war. I I have a concern. Um, I'm just gonna keep trying courtyard because I feel like we might actually get somewhere again. Oh, Saga, let's play. Weather. <laughs> I am never going to get over that face. It is so hard not to laugh at that face. Lunch time. And I'm done. All right, we're getting working pretty well here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go raise morale at the pool. Let's get it up. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, I need to really get that stress off. I'm gonna try the arcade. Let's do this. I didn't think I'd meet you here again, Mr. Chikara. This is the second time you've been to the uh, place. I'm gonna try. Uh, let's try some classwork. That's interesting. Yes, minus four. Okay, we're, we're doing okay, but the intelligence hit was... I'm not fond of intelligence hit, but it's fine. It's a good way to get rid of a lot of stress, because I want to keep it down as much as I can. I probably shouldn't be doing it this hard. Minus three. Okay, we're good. Minus one until... <laughs> so I lost three for today, and gained one, and there goes luck. Luck always gets hit. It's the weekend. I have the day off today. Is it today or tomorrow that, like, there's another event? The swim meet. Okay, so I really need to try and get it up now. So is there anything I can do here? I could study, but my stress is a little high. Uh, okay, we're gonna study, we're gonna pray, and then I'll jog for tonight, and then I'll try to work. I'll do double on the uh, on the school stuff, or pool stuff. Yes, okay, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna pray today for some luck. Did not expect to see you here. What a coincidence. Let's talk about the weather a little bit. Is that so interesting? I can never tell with her. Please make a donation. I just, I like sitting here talking with her and then she just pulls out her hand. Please make a donation if you're able. I'll give her one credit. Cool, two luck. And a thumbs up, I'll take it. That's a, that's a success right there. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying this pool for a recruit. Dang it. All right, well, let's just let's just oversee practice then. Get the practice through. Might as well. I don't think I'm gonna win the members one, but I think I'll get the at least the readiness and the morale, because I think we'll be okay there. All right, and then I said I was gonna stroll. Minus two stress plus one fitness. Hey, cool. Cool. And our thirty fitness. That's great. I think. I don't know what stats should be at. If there's like a should be at here. I fell into bed and quickly went to sleep. All right, let's see how bad we do. Minus three stress. What else are we gonna lose today? Or tonight? Cool. Didn't lose anything else. It's the weekend. There's a swim meet today. I'm probably assuming towards the end. Um, maybe I should try Science Center. Let's try Science Center for a temp job because it seems to work always well. Plus the money amount is pretty good there. Uh, okay. I feel like I need to get my charisma. That's really the big thing I need to do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pray again. Might as well take advantage of it. Ah! Sports. I see. Was that good or bad? I don't know. Please make a donation if you're really able. Yes, two luck. Luck's high. I'm liking that now. Extra quickly Extra quickly clubs are in session. Schools from across Sarah City has gathered for the competition. 
Today was the first swim meet of the year. Let's try our best to win. The clubs of members of the club were lined up beside the pool when I arrived. Sola came over and tugged on the cuff of my coat. What's the matter, Sola? What? The members want a speech, but you don't know what to say? Sola nodded. How did we know when she didn't even say anything? So you want me to deliver the speech in your stead? Or your s- yeah. <laughs> a speech here? In front of a squad of girls clad in swimsuits, too. Impromptu speech-making skills didn't seem like part of a club manager's job description. Just what kind of situation calls for a speech in front of a bunch of girls clad in skin-tight suits? All the girls stared at me. Ugh. Do they enjoy putting me on the spot? With a line of girls staring at me, there was no way I could refuse. <sighs> Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> we just put on the spot to do this. Proud members of the Sunrider Academy Swim Club. Today we face the first challenge and the... What is this, this like... <laughs> is this like war inspirational music? <laughs> I feel like I'm... <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like on a podium right now. Making a, like a big, a big speech or something, I don't know. Today we face the first challenge in the journey of our youth. I see in your eyes fear of what lies ahead. I can feel the pounding of your hearts as you nervously await the arrival of a, com of a competition. Take heart, my team, but we have practiced hard and come prepared to meet our challenges. We shall take to the waters and defeat all those who oppose us. Go forth and swim with all the grace and magnificence of... Uh... Of a space whale. <laughs> Of a space whale. A space whale. I broke myself in this speech. Eh? They are majestic creatures of the infinite star ocean. Gentle yet steadfast, kind yet indomitable. Peaceful yet powerful. Let that be our creed, our motto. Swim onward, Sunrider Academy Swim Club, for the glory of the space whales. <laughs> that went somewhere completely different from where I was planning. The members of the swim team cheered and giggled anyways. Sola gave me a thumbs up. Good speech. Space whales! Really? I wonder. Nod, nod. And so the first swim meet of the year began. Oh boy. Oh, we won the members! This is... readiness, I think? We won readiness. This is the morale, I think. Gold! Yes! We got gold! All right, we won gold. A hundred prestige. I stood from the breaches and plotted for the team. It's all for those space whales. <laughs> space whales. Why space whales? Why space whales? Why? Ah, I have returned. The team has performed along optimal projections. However, much teamwork, much work remains for the rest of the year. I'm sure we'll keep this up. Good job, Sola. Now, oh, it's all thanks to you, Mr. Manager. Please keep watching over the swim club. Yeah. All of a sudden, we were ambushed by the members of the swim club. Please don't dump. Do not dump any drinks on me. I'm not involved in this. Uh, good job, Captain. It's all thanks to you, Captain. Oh. Sola lost her balance in the horde of congratulatory members and fell towards me. Yeah. I caught her in my arms before she hit the tile floor. Uh, is that, that, oh god, that face again. Are you alright? Yes. Seriously, you girls need to be more careful. This one come looked at me with mischievous eyes. One of them even gave me a thumbs up. Did they plan this out from the very beginning? Now, I have a request that you release me. Oh, sorry. I returned Sola to her feet. I'm sorry, your clothes are wet because of me. Uh, me? I don't mind. Now go on, go get changed with the rest of the club. Understood. Sola walked away. Just as she was about to enter the change room, she looked back and gave me the faintest smile. Club hours are over for today. I am surprised we managed to win that. Holy crap. Wow. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try for the park. A stroll. Yeah. Yeah! That worked out well for us. <laughs> You're alone, eh? Wow, we gained a few more dialogue options now. This is unusual for me. 
Eh, I'm just gonna talk about weather. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? I didn't hear... No, nothing. I went... I fell into bed and quickly went to sleep. Minus three stress. We're at zero again. I like this. What are we gonna lose? Yes! Good. Okay. Let's get that up. It's morning. Time for school. Alright. Good start. Where's she? Oh, it's week... No, it's, we're at week five. Wow, we're at week five already? Holy crap! Um... Where should I eat this time? Alright, I'm not gonna try courtyard anymore. I don't have to play cafeteria. Actually, class here? Or... Oh, you know what? I would need to keep this. I'm worried about my intelligence, so I'm gonna go ahead and just study. Yes! Good. Cool! Man, we're doing pretty good for the. whatever this is. Um. I feel like what I should try to do, too, is try to report report at least once to the student council. At least once. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for today. Like a week, like a week really report kind of ordeal. I feel like that would be a good idea to do anyway. I entered the student council room to check up on Ava. Yo, how's it going, Prez? Kaito, how many times do I have to say it? We can't be so informal on campus. What if someone catches us and thinks that all the student council just... All the student council does is goof around. Well, it doesn't like anyone else is here right now, does it? <sighs> well, oh, nothing much. The first set of final exams are coming up, huh? They are. And now you're going to get all worried because about whether I've been minding my studies, aren't you? <laughs> Hope you haven't forgotten. It's either the 60th percentile or bust. Alright, alright. All right. You've been turning in your homework on time, haven't you? Yes. Even if you cram and somehow do well on the exam, it'll be all for nothing if you haven't been turning in your homework. I forgot about the homework. Right. Uh, alright. Just try your best, okay? It'll look bad for me too if your grade if you get kicked out of the student council because of your grades. Well, looks like I have to study hard this week for the exam. This wasn't about just about me. Ava was counting on me to stay on as the vice president. Not only that, but all the girls would be disappointed if with me if I had to quit as their club manager. If I had returned to just being a regular student, I wouldn't be able to help their clubs at all. Alright, failure was not an option. I'm guessing failing or getting kicked out of the student council is a bad end. Would make sense. I was going to study hard to make sure I was above the cutoff mark. Wow, plus two charisma. Okay, so yeah, this is where the charisma is. Uh, I say... Let's try to get stress up before the fifth day. I probably won't do this for this episode, but I'll try to keep my stress low for the upcoming week, just so that way I could focus on getting homework done on our break day. And then study and do other stuff for the rest of the week. That would be all I should really do. So, okay. Um, I'm just gonna study the library again. I saw Asaka pacing nervously in the library. <laughs> Is she worried about the exam? Is something ma the matter, Asaga? Oh, Kaito! <laughs> such a vast change in facial expressions in such a short period of time. Just a bit worried about my grades, that's all. Somehow, I wasn't surprised at all. Just how did a saga get into Sunrider Academy anyways? Math sure is hard, eh? I have no idea how any of this stuff will be useful for my life. You know, I had that question too, a saga, and then I quickly learned how important it really was for computer science. All I see are triangles and wavy lines. <laughs> and these proofs seem so roundabout and long-winded. Maybe I'm just not cut off for this Kaito. Anyone could learn math eventually. Maybe I should go into a career which doesn't involve math. That's if you want to. Somehow, I had difficulty imagining what kind of career a saga would go into. Maybe a pro athlete? A saga dropped her hollow on the floor. It rolled below a table. Ugh. She bent down to retrieve it, only to bang her head on the bottom of the table as she sat on. <laughs> a saga, please. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, is she okay? I hope she's okay. <laughs> that looked like that really hurt. <laughs> Asaga collapsed on the floor. I collapsed to the floor, clutching her head. <laughs> Even the table's against me today. I hope for Asaga's future dropped considerably. Maybe she'll make it as a stand-up comedian. <laughs> hey Kaito, if I flunked out of school, can I just be your housewife? <laughs> okay. 
Oi! A bump to her head M might have done, must have done more damage than I thought. I set a saga on a chair and pointed her head at the hall. <laughs> well, this is kind of a funny line to read when you're doing a romance novel, which I'm pretty sure is what this is, considering we probably have routes for these characters. It's still too soon to give up. Now keep trying. Only losers accept defeat when there's still time left to improve. Sniffle. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep trying. That is a very true statement, though. Only true losers really give up. Even if you fail, failure is the greatest learn uh, teacher. Saga returned to her studies. I better hit the books, too. Yeah, cool. When they say 60th percentile, do they mean, like, 60 in intelligence? I really don't know what that means. Hey, Kaito. Oh, hey! Um, hey, you wanna hear about an interesting story about classwork? I don't get what you're saying at all. I tried. What a busy day. I fell out of bed and quickly went to sleep. Minus three stress. Okay, not so bad. What else are we losing? Minus one luck. Okay, at least it's the luck that's taking a hit. Because I'm fine with the luck taking a hit. It's morning, time for school. Alright guys, I thought it'd be it for this episode. <laughs> this is a fun game. Like, it's got a huge learning curve and I'm assuming I'm not making all the right decisions. And that's fine. You know, I hope I don't end up with the common route in all honesty, but going in blind is probably more fun than actually following a guide. Ugh. I just hope I'm doing the right things. I just, like, really my only real thought process is make sure I at least do one of, like, try to do as much as I can, and as di and as many things diverse as I can. So really I'm trying everything. The only reason I did the courtyard so much last time was I, did, I just wanted to, first time I just did it two times in a row, and then I started noticing Sola wanted to was talking to us twice, so I assumed that was an event kicking in, which I've, I've had enough visual novel experience, I kind of figured that out. It's not that difficult. So, I don't know. I really do like where this game is going. There's a lot to really think about, and I'm not really sure how most of these stats apply. Heck, I didn't think I'd win the members thing with the swimming group, because I really don't know what they're looking for and what I'm comparing up against. But, anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying this series, I definitely am, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode or livestream that I do. Until then, I'll see every single one of you guys later.